Good Monday, welcome to the Rough Cuts, I am Ireland and this is the final review in my series of reviews in which I fill in my cinematic blind spots and uh, this week I'm reviewing Once Upon a Time in America from 1984 directed by Sergei Leone and starring Robert De Niro and James Woods. This film is told from the point of view of Robert De Niro's character but it follows Robert De Niro, James Woods and a few other people who are a Jewish gang in New York City from the early 20th century until 1960 late. But really the only three time periods in the film is some early time at which the characters are between 10 and 15 years old, the Prohibition era, and then 30 years later when Robert De Niro returns to New York City for the first time after 30 years. This is all told non-chronologically as memories from that 60s era Robert De Niro. So the first and most positive thing I can say about this movie is that considering the fact that it's four hours long it's really entertaining. On a scene by scene basis this is a really entertaining movie. Robert De Niro and James Woods are great together and they have a real chemistry and there's a story and a, a relationship between them that I want to follow from scene to scene throughout four hours. This film is really misogynistic and really violent and I usually don't have a problem with that in movies but I do in this one because it seems to celebrate it in a way that I usually don't even see in mob films. The sympathetic main character of this movie is involved in two or three rape scenes and none of the female characters seem to act in any way that's remotely human. This caused me to grow kind of detached from most of the characters and in the end I just saw the film as a series of mildly entertaining scenes. Also what I guess is supposed to be the emotional climax of this movie is just a very lazily edited together montage of earlier scenes from their childhood, it just rings kind of false to me. There's a lot of beautiful imagery and nice music, but I don't feel like the film has a real core. And because the script is written by six different people, it's kind of messy and all over the place. I've always had a problem really relating to gangster movies. According to the IMDb, this film is the 77th best film of all time, and I just didn't see that at all. But because of the nice imagery and the music and the fact that the film had me interested for four hours, I will give this a 6 out of 10 rating. See you next week for my first post-blind spots review of something.